Yo, it's your boy, the Ninja of Pain here, and welcome to another video I'm doing on my main channel. So yeah, if you're, so yeah, before we get into this video, you know, what I'm going to say, subscribe to my reaction channel, and follow me on Instagram. The links will be in the description. So yeah. Basically, if you guys remember a few days back, if you follow me on Instagram, I did a poll there asking if I should do a video of, well, my, of myself showing you all what's inside of this. Most of you said yes. And well, let's just say, <sighs> looks like I'm giving you what you want. So yeah, let's get into this binder. <sighs> well, okay then. In this binder is basically my Pokemon card collection. Now let's now I'm going to basically open this and show you what I have inside. Here we basically have some of my favorite Pokemon. And yeah. Next page, we got Hollow Rares. Oh my god, it's freaking... A little bit too... Yeah, there. Now it's better. That is better. Basically, we got this... We got This is basically the first page of the Hollow Rares which I have in this collection. I... I basically... I'm going to show you these in order, and well, yeah, you know. Basically, this is the this is a Delmise Hollow Rare from Guardians Rising, which I have. Then there is this Delcaddy from Celestial Storm, Manaphy from S Shining Legends, Mimikyu from well, Guardians Rising. This is basically the Keldeo Hollow Rare, and Palkia Hollow Rare. Both of these are from Shining Legends. And then we basically got these two hollow promo cards of, well, you know, Rowlet and Dartrix from the poke, from this, well, the Sidgewide GX Premium Collection Box opening from, you know, which I uploaded on YouTube a few, a, f a year ago, you know. And then there's this Verizon Hollow Rare. Yeah, to be honest, I kind of like these hollow rares. And then we got this, well, I got this, then we got this Mew hollow rare card from Unbroken Bonds. Yeah, I pulled this from the, from the Unbroken Bonds late trainer box on, well, this summer. If you, if you haven't checked that video out, I recommend you do. I made a few jokes in that video. And yeah. Basically, we got two Hollow Rare Charizards from Dragon Majesty. Somebody gave me these. Gave me some Pokemon cards. And yeah, these two were some of them. <sighs> and then we got this Hollow Rare Politoed. And then, the, the, and then these Hollow Rare Jesse and James and Hollow Rare uh, Eevee cards. Yeah. We also got this Politoed Hollow Rare from, well, Guardians Rising. Yep. To be honest, I kind of like the Hollow Rares from Guardians Rising. And then we got two Hollow Rares from Hidden Fates Jesse and James and Eevee Hollows. And then we got this Agron Hollow Rare from Crim Crimson Invasion. Yeah. If you guys haven't seen my Crimson Invasion Elite Trainer Box opening, yeah, I recommend you watch it. I did a crazy... I basic My reaction to pulling a certain card from that set, which I'll get into later, was very crazy. Then we got this Shaman Hollowware from Lost Thunder, and this Victini from Guardians Rising. 
And now we, we are going to be entering into more hollow rares. We got this Machamp hollow rare from Guardians Rising. This Drampa also from Guardians Rising. Same with this Miniar. And Mudsdale and Politoed again. And then we're getting into some... We're getting into, should I say, hollow rares from other sets. So yeah, this is basically the hollow rare Dust Noir GX. No, it isn't a GX. Freaking, why am I saying that stuff? This is a hollow rare Dust Noir from Burning Shadows. And this is the Lucario and Drampa hollow rares from, well, Ultra Prism. And yeah. And then there is, uh, and then there's this hollow rare Diantha from Forbidden Light. Yep. And if you guys watch my channel, I opened up part of a well Forbidden Light Elite Trainer box. And now we're basically, and then we basically have two hollow rares of well Latios, and then a hollow rare of Zekrom, Zekrom again, Raikou. And now we're into Del now we're basically en entering into more hollow rares from Forbidden Light. Delphox, Pyroar, and another Delphox. I don't know why I put these in that order. <sighs> I'll have to fix that after the video. And now we also got this hollow rare of well Aurorus from Forbidden Light as well, as well as Empoleon from Forbidden Light. Garchomp from Hollow Rare from Forbidden Light, and this Hollow Rare Magnezone also. If it can focus, from Forbidden Light. And we also got these Hollow, no, Reverse Hollow Energies from, well, Hidden Fates, and now we got into one of these Shinies. So, yeah. This is one of my more recent cool pulls from, well, Hidden Fates. Yeah, and this one was originally printed in Ultra Prism. It's an alternate art reprint. And yeah, it's basically... Shiny Vault 27 out of Shiny Vault 94. Yeah. Basically, I did an opening on Hidden Fates on a live stream on Instagram on my birthday. If y'all haven't watched it, you missed out. But don't worry, I'm here to basically just tell you what pulls I got. These are... This one was basically one, one of the three shiny cards that I pulled from this, from this set. And then we basically move on to promo cards. Basically, I basically there's this well, Lenten promo card from well, I don't know where it's from, but it's one of those cereal boxes which are which have Pokemon card promotions on it. Then there's this Pikachu. Hmm. Boy, does it look then good. Then we got this Decidueye GX full art promo card. Which I also got from the Decidueye GX Premium Collection Box, which I opened up on this channel a, f a freaking year ago. And yeah, I post, actually I, I recorded this video in 2017 and I didn't post it until 2018 when people found out, of, uh, when you guys at my school found out about my YouTube channel. And then there is this Crabominable, no, oh, I can't pronounce it, Crabominable, from, you know, this it's basically a Crabominable pre-release promo from Burning Shadows, yeah. If you guys, if you guys don't know me, 
or don't follow me on Instagram, you'll know that I met a certain thug two days before I went to a Burning Shadows pre-release. And yeah, this thug named Stink Bomb smelled like he hasn't taken a shower in six fucking months. Yeah, this is no joke. This guy smelled like he hasn't taken a fucking shower in six months. But he has nothing to do with this, well, should I say, video. So I'm going to end my talk about this fucking thug here. And then there is this promo card of Decidui. And yeah, basically, this Decidui was from, well, a three-pack blister from Crimson of Crimson Invasion. So yeah, this, to be honest, I actually, to be honest, I actually like Decidueye. It's one of my favorite Pokemon. I put it in S tier. I just cannot get over how Deci how cool Decidueye is. So yeah, on to the next card. We got this Ho GX from well, this this is basically a promo card from a ten that I opened up. Yeah. And then there is this Necrozma GX card, which I also got from another tin. And then this Mars Shadow GX card, which I also got from another tin. It's basically, yeah, these three were promo cards from those tins. And we're basically moving on to, an, to something else. Next up, we got Shining Ho-Oh. Yep. If you guys can see this... It's so fucking shiny. Yeah. I got this one from, well, a shiny, this basically, uh, this, I basically opened up a Shining Legends ETB, and it came with this thing. So, yeah. Next up, we got more promo cards. This time, we got this Malamar card from Forbidden, this Malamar Forbidden Light pre-release promo card. So yeah, I opened up a I opened up a Forbidden Light pre-release box, and yeah, it was basically one of my favorite ones. You'll see why in a few. S You'll I'll tell you a little story. Basically, in the summer of 2018, I opened up a Forbidden Light pre-release box, and yeah. And I got two ultra rares from it. Two fucking ultra rares. Yeah. That was cool. Next, we're going on to this Manetric Celestial Storm pre-release promo card. And yeah, I, I actually kind of like Celestial Storm a little. And then we got this Tapu Lele, you know, Lost Thunder pre-release promo card. Yeah. To be honest, I like the I like these Sun and Moon sets, and we're basically, and this last one, which is this last promo card to be exact, is basically this Moltres and Zapdos and Articuno GX card, stained glass version from well hidden from this hidden Fates Elite trainer box, which I ha which I opened up on an, on an, on an, on my Instagram live stream on my birthday. Yep. So yeah, if you guys if this is if you guys don't think this is cool, I really don't know what's going on. However, how is this not cool? How is this not fucking cool? I'm really glad I have this in my collection. So yeah, next up we move on to the Prism Stars. We got, right now we're basically, yeah, there's only one page of Prism Star cards, so yeah. We got this Volcanian Prism Star card from Forbidden Light, and then this Diancie Prism Star from Forbidden Light as well, same with Arceus, and Lysander. Yeah, I got the, I got, should I say, you know... I got these from I got I basically got these three from that from that Forbidden Light booster box and then this Diancie Prism Star from that for from that Forbidden Light ETB. 
And then there is this Lance Pr Prism Star card from also Dragon Majesty. And then the there is this Life Forest Prism Star from Lost Thunder. Yep. To be honest, I like Prism Star cards. I don't know why. I just fucking think they're cool. And then we move on to the Ultra Rares. The regular Ultra Rares. So yeah. So yeah, these first two ones that I'm going to be showing you all are, well, this Gyarados GX card from Hidden Fates. If it will, if it will focus and not be a fucking bitch, that would be nice. And yeah, then there's this all. Then we also have this Starmy GX card from Hidden Fates as well. Yeah, any one of you who watches who watched my live stream on Instagram will know that I got these cards. So yeah. Next up, we got this Sigilith GX card from Lost Thunder, and this Zera Aura GX card from Lost Thunder. So yeah, basically if you, basically I opened up Lost Thunder, and yeah, I'm still searching for that Full Art Blacephalon GX card. Mhm. Mm yeah, that card I'm really hoping to pull, since it looks so fucking cool. And next up, we got this Dragonite GX card from Dragon Majesty. Yeah, and we also have this Lugia GX card from, well, again, Lost Thunder. And now we're moving on to, to more G, to other GXs as well. With this one is the Dram is Drampa GX from, well. Guardians Rising. We also got this Xerneas GX card from, well, Forbidden Light. I got this one from that Forbidden Light pre-release box. The same, the same thing which came with, well, if I could find it, that would be nice. This Malamar pre-release card from Forbidden Light. No, this Forbidden Light pre-release card from. Yeah, Ugh. And next up, we're basically moving on to this Greninja GX card from Forbidden Light. Yep. I know many of many of the Pokemon fans like Greninja, and I am no exception to that. I think Greninja is one of the best Pokemon to ever even exist. This is why he was my starter in Pokemon X and Y. And next up, we got Zoroark GX from Shining Legends. And Entei G no. Next page we got Zoroark GX from Shining Legends. Probably probably one of my favorite sets from the Sun and Moon era. Yeah, I heard this thing. I heard this thing was a fan favorite. And yeah. Next up, we're moving on to Zygarde GX from Forbidden Light. Yeah. Again, Forbidden Light is one of my favorite Sun and Moon sets of all time. And then we got this Electro GX card from Celestial Storm. Yeah. Celestial Storm is actually a pretty gosh darn cool set. Especially if you like Rayquaza, because Rayquaza's in that set. And then there's and there's this Rainbow Rare Rayquaza card in Celestial Storm, which people like. And it's basically one of the more sought after cards. And yeah. Next up, we got Wishy Washy GX from Guardians Rising. And we're all. And next up, we got one of my favorite Pokemon, Vicavolt from Guardians Rising. Vicavolt GX. I pulled this from a, from a tin, and yeah, a tin. One of those Burning Shadows tins, and yeah. I love Vicavolt GX. It's one of my favorite Pokemon. And next up we got Dialga GX from, well, from Forbidden Light. 
Again, Forbidden Light and Garden of Rising are two of my favorite Sun and Moon sets. And then we got Toxapex from, well, Guardians Rising, Toxapex GX to be exact, and then there, there's this Tapu Lele GX card. Yep. There's a gold, there's a golden Tapu Lele GX card in Hidden Fates. That one is worth a lot of money. And yeah. Next up, we also got this Metagross GX card from Guardians Rising. And next page, we got our last two GXs. Lunala GX from Sun and Moon, and Entei GX from Shining Legends. Basically, next page is going to basically be, well... The Full Arts. So, yeah. Well... Let me just say this. This was my first full art GX card I ever pulled. And to be honest, it's basically my favorite. Vicavolt GX. If any of you have seen my tier list on Instagram, you'll know that this Pokemon is one of my favorites of all time. And I pulled this from the Gar from a Guardians Rising ETB. I will never forget the day I pulled this. Next we have this Como. If this if the light would stop being if the light would stop being a bitch, that would be great. Yeah. This thing. Yeah. It's not really that playable. However, it's a full art anyway, so I have to put it in this in this side in this part of the binder. It's also from Guardians Rising. If, if the lighting would stop being a bitch. And then we got this Full Art Noivern GX card from Burning Shadows. Which I pulled f out of Burning Shadows pre-release. Yep. The same pre-release. Which I went to two days be after I met this stupid thug named Stink Bomb. And yeah. Next up we got this... Mewtwo GX full art card from Shining Legends. Yeah. Heard this thing is a fan favorite as well. There's a shiny version of this thing as well as a shiny version of this thing in, well, Hidden Fates. Next up, we got this Lucario GX full art from Forbidden Light. Yeah. To be honest, look, I kind of like Lucario. It goes in S tier. One of the best Pokemon from the fourth generation. And then next up we got this Xerneas GX full art from Forbidden Light. I also pulled this from, should I say, well, uh, what was it again? Oh yeah, that Forbidden Light pre-release box. And to be honest, I think that was the reason why Forbidden Light is one of my favorite sets of all time. The, the other reason, you'll find out so, you'll find out in a few minutes. And then we got this shiny Dusk Form Lycanroc GX card. Yeah. To be honest, those of you who's, who, saw, who watched my Instagram live stream will know that I had a crazy reaction when I pulled this thing. Yeah. Shiny Vault. 67 out of se out of 94 and yeah anyways that's going to do it for the full arts now to move on to the full art trainers so yeah basically i got two mallow full art trainers and then there's this malane full art trainer which i pulled from well should i say Unbroken Bonds. If this would load... There. And yeah. Basically... This... Yeah. If any of you have watched... One of my more recent videos on opening... Well... Basically this video where I opened up Unbroken Bo an Unbroken Bonds Elite Trainer Box. 
you'll know that I pulled this card. And yeah, basically, next page will basically be the secret rares. Over here, we basically got this Marshadow GX card from, well, should I say, this is basically a secret rare of Marshadow GX from Burning Shadows. This is probably the reason why Burning Shadows is another one of my favorite Sun and Moon sets. And then this Secret Wear Multi-Switch from, well, again, Burning Shadows. These cards, to be honest, are pretty gosh darn cool. Next up, we're going on to the Ultra Beasts. Gee, I'm almost done with this. Basically, we got this Boswell from, well, Forbidden Light, and then this Pheromos, these Pheromosa Hollow Rares from Forbidden Light, and then this Reverse Hollow of, well, Pheromosa from Forbidden Light. And yeah, basically we got two Zerka Trees, one Regular Rare and one Reverse Rare from, well, Forbidden Light. Yeah. And then we got these Poiples. Yeah, I like Ultra Beasts, so yeah, I'm going to be making, I basically, so yeah, I basically have these in their own, well, sections. Poipol, these Poipols are from Forbidden Light, however, this one is from, well, F Lost Thunder. And we move on to the next page. This Poipol is also from Lost Thunder, and then we got these two Naganadals. This one is, these are, this is basically, well, the reverse rare from Lost Thunder, and then there's this regular rare, which is exclusive to the pre-release box. Yeah, to be honest, I think Naganadals won pretty gosh darn cool Pokemon. And then we got this hollow rare Naganadal from Forbidden Light. Hmm. Next up, we got Buzzwool. Yeah, if I were a Pokemon, that I'd be this thing. You know, those of you who who go to my school know what I'm talking about. And next up, we got Naganadal GX from well, Forbidden Light. This Buzzwool was basically from Crimson Invasion, and we also got this Naganadal promo card. Yeah, which was re released in this, when should I say, a Dragon Majesty ETB. Yeah. And then, next up we got this Secret Rare Nihil Ego GX card from, again, Crimson Invasion. To be honest, I like this card. Yeah. And then we got this Full Art Ultra Necrozma GX card. Which I pulled on my birthday from Forbidden from a Forbidden Light booster box. Yeah. Basically When I pulled this card, I screamed at the top of my lungs. What the fuck is going on? I screamed that. And last but not least, we have we have shiny Guzzlord slash Usher. Yeah. From Hidden Fate from Hidden Fates. Shiny Vault 26 out of 94. Yeah. If you guys if you guys go to my school, you'll know that I made a many jokes about this Pokemon looking like Usher. And Usher looking like this thing. And then there is this time where I called this food reviewer named Daddy Guzzlord as well. I told him that he looks like Guzzlord from Pokemon Sun and Moon. And yeah. Basically, that's gonna do it for this video. Be sure to like this video, subscribe, and share it with a friend. And don't forget to subscribe to, to this channel as well as to my reaction channel. And follow me on Instagram. The links to my channel and 
well, my second channel on my Instagram will be in the description below. So yeah, until next time, I'll see y'all later.